and Liberty Big South champions. After a powerhouse 26-7 season and bouncing back to win Liberty's 16th Big South championship title, the Lady Flames basketball team has much to be proud of. We sat down with the four seniors from the program to talk about their basketball journey. When we asked the ladies to give a name to this championship season, Carly Buer was quick with an answer. Maybe the comeback kids, um, for several reasons. Obviously, um, winning the Big South this year after not last year. And then just with us seniors, I feel like all of us are fighters and had to come back from adversity in, in some sense, um, three ACLs and other surgeries. Um, and then Ellie fighting for a spot um, just as a walk-on. So comeback kids, maybe. <laughs> Winthrop headed to the Big South Championship game. The Liberty Flames have been dethroned. There will not be a three-peat. We had to uh, hum humble ourselves like for the next year, and I am very proud of our team like this year and what we accomplished this year. Uh, we had, like I said previously, we had to hand through adversity to the knee surgeries, and um, I think that's big for us. That's big, because like a lot of people don't come back from ACL surgeries and like finish strong as we did like this year. Except for Ellie Rollins, every one of these players suffered the anguish and intense recovery from a serious injury. In the case of Carly Buer, her injury actually helped guide her to Liberty University. I was devastated, obviously, and you don't want your, your possible career to be ended with that sort of injury. Um, but in hindsight, like it was a complete blessing from the Lord, and that's really why I am here. If it wasn't for my knee um, injury, I wouldn't be at Liberty, and I wouldn't have met any of these awesome, these awesome girls or had the experiences that I was able to experience, or even be in grad school in general. Um, so just the direction that my life um, is right now it's thankful to my ACL, which sounds crazy, <laughs> crazy, but that's, that's the case. Emily Frazier suffered multiple knee injuries and recoveries during her years on the team, but her perseverance and resilience not only brought her a Big South championship, it led to a marriage proposal in a most unusual way. My fiance now, but he was a practice player, and uh, I ended up becoming really good friends with him and a bunch of other guys, and, um, one of the story, the story he says that the reason, like when he like knew I was the one, I had just torn my meniscus like bad. I mean, pretty much all of it is gone. And I come back from the game that it happened, and I come in with a brace. Like I go into their house, and they're all just like, "What is like? What's wrong with you?" You know? And I'm like, uh, "I think I tore something." Like you know, I didn't really want to talk about it. So we ended up going to McDonald's. They wanted to get sweet tea, so we just sat there. Well, I ended up like. They were all just talking and I saw that they needed refills and I didn't really know what they were talking about and I didn't care really so I, I ended up just grabbing their glasses and like getting them refills and bringing them over with my knee like with like limping around and he just was like this girl is willing to like serve and love us through that like I don't know it's just a funny story he said that was like the moment he knew and I was like what yeah I was like at McDonald's okay cool so I don't know that's I guess that brought us together <laughs> injuries bring people together yeah negative to a positive when Jasmine Gardner suffered her knee injury, Emily Frazier was there at her side. This is my biggest like, injury that I ever had in my life, and I didn't really know how to handle it. Honestly, I really didn't know how to handle it. Um, but my boo, Emily, she helped me through it all. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, she helped me through it all. We rehab together. It was like, oh, we do leg races, bump, yep, like yep. fist bump each other. <laughs> Gotta make it fun. For Ellie Rollins, the challenge wasn't physical injuries. It was how to even make the team roster. The walk-on process, it was, uh, it was pretty stressful at times and, um, and very humbling also. Just being able to you know, work and practice, um, that was my game time, that was my time to try to push the other girls and get them better and get them ready for the game and, and just learning what that was like. Uh, it, was, it was quite a ride, but I learned so much and, and I wouldn't change a thing, I'm so thankful. Head women's basketball coach Kerry Green is quick to point out the rare and high honor Ellie achieved. You know, there's only been two players who've walked on and earned their scholarship that have played here for four years. One, Alex Breen, the other one is Ellie Rollins, and uh, it so happens that both of them were nurses, very disciplined young people that uh, 
uh, added a, a significant amount to our, our program. Assistant coach Alex Sherrard believes the basketball team will definitely miss the individual skills and talents of all four players. The four seniors, they were all different. They were all unique in their own way. I mean, Emily was the more the vocal. Carly was more the on the floor, just working hard, just showing by example. Jazz was just a physical specimen that, you know, every night, you know, she's going to give you eight to ten boards. And Miss um, Ellie, she was just that encourager throughout the whole process, kind of glued it all together. And after the countless hours of practice, travel, competition, and everything else that goes into a Division I women's basketball career, Coach Green wants these four young ladies to take away something far greater than just a championship. Hopefully what they took from Liberty in our program is understanding of what's really significant in their life and not going after the fool's gold, but uh, investing in relationships with other people and first and foremost with Jesus Christ.